enough to mention the whole, uh, King Tut wedding thing, right? Certainly not. Anyway, as far as I'm concerned, they get married too young in ancient Egypt. Or perhaps I'm just some old geezer. Huh? Warning. Wayback power supply insufficient. Charge now. Warning. What's the matter, Mr. Peabody? All this zipping about the cosmos has drained our power supply. We're going to have to make an unscheduled stop. As luck would have it, we have just enough power to make it to the Renaissance. Tell me one thing I have to smile about. The sunshine, the pasta, all the things that make Italy such a popular tourist destination. But I have not seen any of them, Leonardo, because I'm sitting here all day on my abundance. I don't think that means share in Italian. <clears throat> a big body, my old friend. What a welcome interruption. Believe you me, this woman is making me nuts. So... Are you banned? Good to see you. What do you want? We're in a desperate hurry to get home, but the way back needs a jump start, and we thought, who better than Leonardo da Vinci to help us on our way? Peabody, I would love to help you, but you come at a very bad time. I don't know what I'm going to do with this crazy woman. <laughs> you see what I mean? What seems to be the problem? What is the problem? <laughs> I am halfway done with the painting. She won't even smile. Fine. I a smile. No! That's a fake smile! Everybody knows that! Why don't you make it a real smile? Why don't you say something funny? I paint the paintings. I make the machines. I don't tell the jokes! Perhaps I can be of assistance. You see, humor is not immune to the laws of science. Using algorithms, we can extrapolate what is universally considered funny, thus producing a formula that is scientifically certain to cause laughter. Case in point, the pratfall. Is everyone amused? Hmm. The data was so clear. Oh. Don't worry, Mr. Peabody, no, I got no. it! Sherman. Uh, oh. <laughs> should generate enough centrifugal force to send us home. I got a one last piece I got a pound into place. Sherman, why don't you fetch the hammer for Mr. Da Vinci? Okay, Mr. Peabody. <laughs> Mr. Peabody! Well done, Sherman. But Mr. Peabody! Very helpful. Da Vinci? Oh, okay, Mr. Peabody. <laughs> Here you go, ah. Mr. Da Vinci. Do you need any help? No, no, no. That's uh, quite all right. Uh, thank you. Psst. <laughs> oh, boy. Shut it. Huh? Let's go. Let's go explore. Uh, well, I'm supposed to be having Father's son time with Mr. Peabody. Wouldn't you rather have fun with me? Uh, okay. Sherman. Where are you going? Exploring? But we need your help. No, we don't. I mean, uh, we can't manage. <laughs> Somehow. Here's a boy, Peabody. Let him have his fun. Let him go. Thanks, Mr. Peabody! <laughs> He's a growing up, Peabody. Like a baby bird leaving the nest. Isn't it wonderful? 